alert weather. Here's what happened yesterday. When we last left our weather hero, 78 uh, was the high. Average temperature right around 74 degrees. It was in the 40s yesterday morning. We're not going to break any records. It's not going to be some super cataclysmic day around here. It's just kind of going to be uh, like it should be. And then the bottom falls out. Now it's time for a breakdown. Low pressure will be here on into tomorrow and Friday, and it's going to get wet. Look at this bright beginning of our Idaho Falls. 14 mile an hour winds make it feel a lot cooler than 55 degrees. Pocatello over the backside of the Bingham Hospital at 46 and down toward Salt Lake. There's not too many clouds around. It appears to be bright in Rexburg at 51 with a breeze at 7 miles an hour. It's 40 along Buffalo Way. There's the red light across from Albertsons and the two-story penthouses at the Gables where Todd Kuntz spends weekends with a gold chain and his Bee Gees wear. 34 in Ledore, 40 Chalice, staying alive. 38 Mackey, 32 in Arco. Look at this, 32 degrees right now on the edge of the desert. It's kind of a weird combination, it's kind of like an oxymoron, right? Doesn't make any sense. It's a desert, but it's freezing. 46 in Driggs, 45 in Soda. It's going to get stormy out there, by the way. I'm just going to let you know, you get ready, because we're going to have some wind, some rain, some storms, all up at a part of this low that's being set up to just drop in, wrap itself around this stationary front that's over the top of us now. With the winds this morning being really nothing, it will get gustier with storms into the evening hours. So this is prime time tonight, about 7 o'clock, early prime as we call it in the TV business, uh, just about the time you settle in for some Pringles and caviar. We'll see some of these storms push across the Teton Pass over toward the Palisades, Irwin, Bone. We'll get a lickety split shower in there, and then it's really going to storm up into the evening hours there along the state line. There are going to be some higher level mountain snow showers there beyond the Sun Valley. We'll see some deepening rains there between Arco and Dubois, Howe, then into early tomorrow morning. Things will be slick. We're going to pull a lot of that grit and grime, and we're going to see some uh, wind and some hail and uh, some lightning and some heavy downpours all encompassed with this low that's just sitting over the top of us. And then we'll see some of these mountain snow showers showing up in the blue on the map, and uh, that lasts on into Friday morning. Then there's more rain on into Friday evening. So this is, this is going to take a minute to clear this out. So if you're planning on doing any kind of yard work or anything, trying to get stuff done outdoors, Doors. Today's the day to do it because tomorrow's going to be nasty, Friday will be nasty, and it's going to get cold around here. We're going to see the temperatures drop a good 15 to 20 degrees. The winds are going to pick up. It will be gusting to 20 plus miles an hour. No fun bun kind of couple of days here as we get into tonight and tomorrow. So if you plan on doing date night, do it tonight, all right? And then uh, just stay at home. Netflix and chill. But do Channel 8 and chill. That's what we like it when you when you watch us because we got some good stuff on. And we're here every morning to keep you cozy. It's going to be in the 70s as we get toward the afternoon today. Then things begin to flatline when we uh, basically keep the temperature within about 10 degrees of the high and the low anomalies, you know the weather's not good. So we're insulated pretty well on into Friday and Saturday. Eight day forecast, look at the drop, 16 degrees from this afternoon to tomorrow and it will be into the 50s for both days into Rexburg. Fall officially arrives, it will fail on Saturday at about 12.05 a.m. If you're going to stay up that long, just know you probably need a binky because it's going to be chilly and the temperature is going to be in the 40s for Saturday morning if you're yard selling. You're probably going to want to keep it under some sort of cover uh, out of the yard because it's going to be muddy. 70 in Jackson and we'll see the storms really start to amp up into Thursday and Friday. Now some of that's going to start tonight and then it will carry through the days tomorrow and into Friday. Yay. Pocatello is going to be at 74. I think it's going to dry out in time for us to have some tailgating action, but there'll be some puddles in the parking lot. And if you're going to be on the grass, know that you'll probably sink. Uh, it will be 73 in Idaho Falls and some soaking rains get in here late tonight for tomorrow drive times and then into Friday as well. And we'll be in the 40s overnight. We're looking at a morning low on Sunday of 39 degrees. The debate continues. Y'all are next.